like for us as well. Indie stars garbage. Seeing the title song for the new Bond movie opening tonight. The world is not enough. The Sizz caught up with a band on tour in America to find out just how long the applause will last. I am the second Scottish singer to, to sing a Bond theme and, and, the, and the one before me was Sheena Easton and all I can pray and hope is that I don't go the way that Sheena did because when she comes back to Scotland now, she gets eggs thrown at her when she performs live and I would hate for that to happen. So I'm hoping that that does not occur. And talking of all things Celtic, Garbage reckon they fit right into Bond's Scottish roots. Bond is essentially, quintessentially Scottish. Ian Fleming wrote the original story and the best Bond by far was Scottish, Sean Connery. And I think Robert Carlyle, who's the baddie in The World Is Not Enough, is one of the greatest baddies in a long time. So, you know, we, we take our part in history as usual. We're very honoured to, um, to be asked to do it and, and to, to do the song. We, we tried very hard to make it garbage, but also make it very Bond, and, and to, to be in this category with uh, Goldfinger and uh, You Only Live Twice and Live and Let Die and, and um, what was the Carly Simon? Nobody, nobody Does It Better by Carly Simon. Amazing songs, and I mean, we have no perspective on, on where we fit in, but just to be part of that uh, is an incredible honor. Bond just wouldn't be Bond without a sexist silhouette, but Shirley is one babe who won't be taking a kit off for 007. Well, I would be very flattered if they asked me to be a silhouette in the opening titles, but I have a feeling that it would make the audience vomit. So I think I would just politely sidestep that opportunity. Thank you for asking, though. <laughs> and finally, would our Johnny have what it takes to play James Bond? Um, probably not. He's too damned handsome. <laughs> <laughs>